Last Tuesday, we looked up a list that we found online of 206 different topics that could be discussed on YouTube. And we went through as many of those as we possibly could in 15 minutes. Today, we find 26 items on Amazon you didn't know you wanted. Today on the show. Good morning, Scallywags. That was extended and I know, exasperated. Right? Yeah, and thank you. Exaggerated, and I liked it. I worked hard on that. It did, you did. Train. <laughs> he trained so, for that. <laughs> so we, we scour the internet on a weekly basis, trying to find fun things to talk about. And, uh, well, we came across quite the gem this week. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. It is from a website called PettyMayo.com. Like T-T-Y -T and mayo, like mayonnaise. Um, these are 26 unique... 26 WTF gifts? items that you didn't know you could get on Amazon. Yeah, that's exactly. Putting it simply. Yeah, putting it very <laughs> simply. That's a good way to put it. Um, Which, I mean, the title alone intrigued us. So we had to go and look, of course. And uh, upon further inspection, like, a few of these, <laughs> yeah, you know, but. Uh, and there but, are some that we had to dig a little deeper to look and see to what To find they out were. what they even were. But then there's a handful of these on here that I, I seriously want. I, I do. There's a, there's quite a few on this list that I would like to have so we can yeah, showcase. I, if nothing else, I mean, some of these could, could play off as gag gifts or whatever. Some of them are just, you know, like I said, kind of meh. But, like, a couple of the, Like, there's one in particular that we'll get to here in a little while that I, we don't even know what it is. Even after looking into it, we don't know what it is. We, but we, we want one. We read the description in the description. Well, I'll, when we get to it, we'll read we'll, the description for yeah, you. Yeah, we'll reiterate that. But, you know, like I said, most of these are just kind of fun little... What, Why? What, not really? What? Yeah. And, and I'm sure you could pro probably find half these things in a dollar store somewhere, yeah. for that matter. Mm -hmm. But... But nonetheless, these are 26 WTF items that you can find on you on uh, Amazon. Like you want to say YouTube, keep but, Amazon. To say, but it's Amazon. Yes, yes. It's Amazon. like the Little Red Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Little Red Man is pretty special. What is he makes it so special, Shmoo? Well, he, he he poops on your hot dog. Oh, yeah. He's gonna poop <laughs> out that mayonnaise or that ketchup or that uh, that uh, mustard. Yeah, yeah. It covers your hot dog right. Especially if you had some Dijon mustard. Pardon me. Do you Sorry. have any gray poupon? Yeah, it's gonna be brown that way. No, I like gray poupon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> gray poupon. So he poops on your. <laughs> you get it? You, you you get what I'm? You get the joke? Gray poupon. It's it's a it's a it's a joke, boy. It's a it's a human waste joke. I always. Oh, and you can get shot glasses that look like urinal. Even better. Hey, speaking of bodily fluids and stuff. Oh wow, this is a theme. Because so we far haven't this talked week. about urine enough this week. This is a Yesterday theme. Yesterday alone. Week. Wow, man, it just it just it just keeps coming. Up. So I mean, you could use these for like yeah, bachelor or bachelorette parties or or just because it's you know Tuesday. 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 It's Tuesday, and you want to drink some vodka. Yep. Why not? Why not? You can drink it out of a shot glass. Yeah. You could even have a, a priest bless it for you. Oh, God. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Bless this vodka for it might have sinned. Bless this urinal shot glass <laughs> thing. What about the next one, Shmoo? What, what can you really say about this next one? I mean... It's necessary. Bugs that's, Bunny that's, would like it. Yeah. Um, I'm a firm believer Bugs Bunny like. But in all honesty, let's get right down to it. It's probably just an overlarge pencil sharpener. It's a carrot sharpener. You, you might Vegan let them vampire. know. We, we know what it is, but they don't. It looks like a giant pencil sharpener. It, yeah, yeah. Vegan vampires. Vegan vampires. I mean, you could probably use it on other things like, like cucumbers, cucumbers or zucchini your or... thumb. Th what? No. I mean, some kids going to. Move on or to you know, one. pencils, perhaps. Just saying. Probably. Maybe maybe a big pencil, one really, of those, one of those, those giant, one of those novelty pencils that are like that big around. You know? Giant pencils. Yeah. Now this next one is one that I want. I I kind of this is. It's disgusting enough that I want it. I would never buy it, but I would accept it as a gift. So if that you're out a, there, uh, it's an egg separator. I just. Did so it looks like snot. I just did a double take. I want you guys to know that. Yeah. It kinda does look. look like kind of looks like your creepy uncle. No. It always has large amounts of snot coming out of his nose. Oh, <laughs> anyway. Now, now this this one, you called him something different. 
Yeah. Um, yes. You have a different name well, for these. Tell them what it tell them what it is and then I'll First of all, these are finger sporks. No, they're not. You've been lied to. Sporks are not a thing. They are called spoons. spoons. You've been lied to. Wake up. Chip from off screen. <laughs> it was a um, I thought it was a bugle. I, could, I just <laughs> I saw it out of the corner of my eye and I got really excited for a second. Hang on. <laughs> no, do it, do it, try it. It's probably never gonna work, but we're gonna try this. <laughs> Not even close. I caught it though. Got the crumbs. Nope. <laughs> anyway, finger sporks, finger spoons. Whatever you wanna call them. Yeah. They look cool. I'm sure they'd be awesome for like a toddler. I want them. Yeah. I them Every time I go to uh, go to Taco Bell, I don't know why I said food for less. I wanted. <laughs> Food for Food Less for doesn't less. have... They may, they may they have... May have they may have... They may have... I don't know. But, but yeah, every time I go to Taco Bell, or KFC, I guess, mm -hmm. but for some reason it's always Taco Bell. Every time I go to Taco Bell, I always grab a handful of spoons and take them home. Sports. And then and then I end up never using them. But he has them, just in case the apocalypse happens. I remember at one point in time, I actually found on a website, and I almost ordered it, but it was actually a titanium spoon. Spork. Spoon. It's a spoon. It sounds wrong saying spoon because it sounds like typhoon to me. Mm. But like anyway. I'm sorry, it's right. How about the tiny pickler picker? 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 Um, but yeah, I mean, I love like getting those little, Irishman little, 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 maybe, maybe there are <laughs> Minnesota, you know? Minnesota Irish, who knows? could be. Um, the tiny little, I love baby pickles. The little baby dill yes, pickles baby are amazing. I love them. And this They're gives you like a little. It looks like a syringe type no, thing. It, no, it, it grabs them. It's like a little. They, they, it's like this, and then I'm not gonna do the rest of the action because <laughs> that would look bad. bad. But it <laughs> grabs the pickle like that. It looks like a fork, but no, it, it grabs it like this. It's got yeah. like a little syringe on the end, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. Um, for baby pickle. Mm -hmm. You're a baby pickle. Going to going to uh, barbecues. Now this, this one I've actually I think I, I want to say I saw it on on GMM. I could be mistaken. I want I'm one. I'm pretty of these. sure this. But is this is called the ham dogger? I want. And one. this is for you take hamburger and you put it in this thing and it shapes your hamburger like a hot dog. So then you can grill it. Because everybody <laughs> always brings way too many hot dog buns. Yeah, let's face it. Yeah, it never fails. You run out of hot dog or hamburger buns. And you've got like 20 hamburgers left, but but God, we've got like 18 packs of hot dog buns in there. Mm -hmm. But now you've got a hamburger shaped like a hot dog. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, that's. Oh God, no, Brett, that's that's blasphemy. I don't even know what to do about this next. My week. grandmother would have loved these, absolutely loved these. Um, she collected salt and pepper shakers, and well, these are two uh, pigs. <clears throat> um, ha yeah, having they're, a they're, good time. They're, they're pigs. Yeah, they're they're having a good old time uh, there, uh, and uh, I want to say she actually had something that was not too dissimilar from that. I could be wrong. It's good that you wouldn't want to sell these to Jewish people. It's not oh. kosher. Wow, wow, you you went there. <laughs> okay, there's a there's another ham joke in there, I'm sure, but you just um, leave that entire joke out. <laughs> well, you can just quit hamming it up and, and move along. Move to the next one. You're getting salty. Oh! Well, I try to pepper those jokes throughout. You know. <laughs> I feel assaulted by that. Maybe you need a little bit of wine to go with that next yeah. one. I'm telling you. <laughs> For the redneck that enjoys a good Bordeaux or Bordeaux, is, Bordeaux? That, a, is that a thing? Bordeaux? Merlot. I don't know. Merlot. It's no, Merlot. I'm thinking of Bordeaux pizza. Is what I'm thinking of. It, God, I, I, I want miss some Bordeaux pizza. Oh, I want some good emos. lord, I miss Bordeaux. Anyway. For that redneck wine drinker out there who just can't seem to stop the flow, there's a plunger wine or stopper. Or if your wine gets clogged, I guess, you know. <laughs> blip, blip, blip. But it's a flowing out there. My wine gets clogged with my emotions. Mm. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Uh, Adam, our dear friend Adam, oh, he's, yeah. a, he's a great watcher and, and a faithful watcher of this program, and we thank him for that. So this next item, Adam, is strictly for you. Enjoy. There you go. Somewhere he's just a uh, coffee cup. With just a, a coffee cup with a spider. I mean, you you know it's there when you're putting the coffee in. But if someone brought you that cup and you were drinking, oh, it'd be terrifying. Oh my god. Coffee. So 
I what do you say about the next one? I, really, honestly, what pointless, is, absolutely it, it, pointless. Yeah. I I think personally that this is a thing that was meant for something else, but they <laughs> needed a way to market it. And so they this is what they it. went with. It's a vibrator that gives your beer extra head. <laughs> and and I tried wording that in a way that didn't sound god awful, and it still did not work. Hi, high school humor. Say, say that sentence any way you want to, and you will feel how awkward it is. Are you disappointed that I laughed at that? It's a vibrator nope. that gives your beard. Not head. a bit. Uh, laugh at any of these. That's why we're, we're going through this. We're how about this one? Um, you know, I love bubble wrap. I absolutely... Who if you If you want to get me an awesome birthday or Christmas present, a roll of bubble wrap. Um... Combine it with another mint. Yeah, why not? These bubbles won't pop, but uh, mm. you still get the satisfaction of bubble wrap while getting warm things out of the oven. Mm. Yes. Do you know that bubble wrap was initially invented as a wallpaper? Mm -hmm. I want a room of bubble wrap. Can we just throw each other like, off like of big, it? Like big bubbles, though. Just throw each other off of it? Oh, God, yeah. Bop! Yes! Blap! Um, this next one is... Um, I don't get it. I don't... I don't... You can make... Tubular eggs, like a tubular it, omelet. Now I or... actually looked this one up. It does not make tubular eggs. It's just a tube that cooks eggs. My so in case you just need an egg dispenser that of pre-cooked eggs. The I've seen the way that they cook them. They resemble French style omelets. Oh. It's like you can put other things in there other than just egg. Oh, that's cool. I may have taken yeah. one of those. I, I don't really know if I need this next item, but uh, yeah, this is one of the more pointless things. I'm it's it's kind of it's kind of makes things look pretty. Um, mm -hmm. You can get a flower steamer. Yeah, it just oh. it holds the pot of it holds the lid open so just, that uh, the steam comes out. Just but, enough but to it look looks pretty. Steam yeah. Yeah. I I want this next one personally because yeah, of course I, you do. I like it. Um, you know because. When I'm mashing potatoes for Thanksgiving, I want to just monster mash. Yeah. So you can feel like Godzilla while you're stomping through potato Tokyo. Tokyo. Ah, that's adorable. Although it kind of looks like a gator. Not really yeah. like a monster, just kind of like a really cute little cartoonish alligator. You got to use your imagination, man. Look at those feet. Well, look at the, look at the next one. Yeah. You don't want eggs from a tube? How about oh. square eggs? You can have them. Cuber. There's, there's an egg cuber. 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 <laughs> oh, now we get to the one of one game? of my most favorite items oh, this one on I love, this I love, list. I love, I love this one. Um, this is the Voodoo Doll toothpick holder. Yes, I would um, proudly display this on my kitchen table. You need to make sure that you name it after a horrible ex that you don't like anymore and just... <clears throat> I have a place to put my uh, toothpicks now. Yeah. I go, I go through seven, little seven, toothpick seven. spells for some reason. Like every once in a while, I just I really want a toothpick. Just to chew um, on. This next one. I don't get it. You know, when I first looked at the picture, I thought those were gigantic what? eyes. I still don't know what it is. I, I, it's, I, it's an alien juicer. I'm thinking you put the, the, the... I think it's for juicing aliens. It looks more like a muddler. <laughs> um, get probed. You, oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> God. Um, it looks like a muddler. If you make a mint julep, you, you, you muddle the mint leaves. That. That's kind of what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Sure, why not? Or, or that's there. how you, uh, or it's how you use an alien. How you mash the. Juice. See, we even looked this one up, and it, and it still doesn't. It doesn't give any uh, additional explanation as to yeah. what it does or how or whatever. Um, it's it currently just, though it unavailable. It's a, oh, no. it's a citrus reamer. It gets that's rid a, of seeds. Oh, oh, it's a reamer. Even more oh, sexual. <laughs> Still doesn't help me understand how that thing does anything well, I bet it's for, juice wise. It's not juice wise, it just gets rid of seeds. It says juicer. Where? It's, it's called juicer. It's called an alien, alien juicer. 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 I don't think that they, 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 I don't. Then they labeled it wrong, but it's they were wrong. It says citrus creamer, <laughs> and when you ream a fruit, that sounds really bad. You, you like chew it out. <laughs> You're like, you stupid fruit. You're just worthless fruit. The only reason I know that is because one of our recipes is like reaming, reaming it. This next one could be fun. Um, this oh, next one could be. 
Yeah. It's uh, a, the, is it uh, a can? Right? Yes. Yeah, it reminds me of Das Boot from from Beer Fest. It looks like your colon. You're a colon. But if your colon looks that like that, you 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 probably got some problems. That looks more like a, a stretched out swollen test. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. It's, like, um, it's, it's a swirly thing. We're gonna just go right on past that okay. one. And, uh, we're gonna go to the garlic chopper. If I ask this garlic chopper, you just got uh, rolls right over. Right, 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 right. Done. Here's like right. a tape dispenser that we put some some scissors inside of, and uh, there you go. <laughs> oh, oh the next one. Oh boy, here's, the, where, here's where things get here's interesting. where things get interesting and fun, guys. Uh, the spiral hot dog cutter. The curl a dog. The curl a dog. Because uh, because hot dogs weren't already pre-made to hold on to condiments, so uh, now now they are. Um, it gives you the I gourmet guess. tasting hot dog. What? Yeah. Gourmet or, hot dog. Ballpark Franks are gourmet hot dogs because they're all beef. No, there's there's actually a, there's a, I remember what, I saw something online where it was like a three hundred dollar or something like that hot dog. Are you kidding me? No. Jeez. And it was these guys that were like trying to maybe it may not have been three hundred dollars, but it was it was like oh, maybe it was like hundred and seventy five. I don't know, but it was. Guy? Buzzfeed. Maybe I don't know, but it was like try a regular versus like expensive yeah, one or something. Yeah, it's the worth it guys from Buzzfeed. Yeah, and they were talking about, and they were like, "Oh my god, this is amazing!" Or whatever. It's so go it's, check them out. It's leftover parts, pretty much in a skin that they just grind up and. They did that for sushi too. And they there's, went to like there's nothing the right about that. Yeah. Oh look, another alien juicer. But this one this actually one, makes I sense. It. I understand how that one works. Yeah. And it looks kind of like a spaceship. That's a it user. looks like it looks like Serlina's spaceship from Men in Black Two, or the tripods from uh, War of the Worlds. Yeah. It looks like a juicer. Yeah, it looks like a juicer, pretty much. Now here, this is a cheese grater I can get behind. Yes. Um, the tree, the uh, the alley grater. Oh, the alley grater. Uh, remember that you always go in an up and down motion, never side to side. That's what Martha Stewart taught so me. So when, when you, why did you say that name? <laughs> when when you pull the thing out and it makes the alligator face, does does, does that part do anything? No, it's just there. To, it just folds back it's and it becomes little, the handle. It's a little pocket cheese grater yeah. then. Now here, this is here is the thing. This is the thing. This is and it's exactly the, 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 the tagline weird... even says this weird beer dot 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 thing. Um, yeah, so here, I'm going to open this next window. Yeah, we open the tab, and it really does not tell us anything more. It tells more. nothing other than it just $17. Says, cold beer, hour clear, yeah, wait, scroll back up. Um, you scroll down too fast. What did that say? The frozen, the frozen for 24 hours in the refrigerator and put the salt water in cold parts for approximately 30 minutes. Keep the temperature when it is out of the refrigerator. Cold part is attached to the beer. Our pour as raw beer features. Cans beer. Power up. Keep cold. I can pour more delicious beer. The frozen for 24 hours in the refrigerator and put the salt water in the cold parts. Uh -huh. Make about 30 minutes. Keep the cold temperature. I'm thinking so, that is so. A, so it, it, it's cold. I'm thinking that is a horrendous. So it's cold. Um, and I get that. It's Japanese. I get that there's like a, a ring around the middle of it where the cold part goes. But there's like a trigger and a button and, and, and a needle. And a needle. And then it's, it's, so it's like it's a, a pitcher. It's a needle kind of like where, it's, where it so, it Okay, out. so that makes a little more sense where it's kind of like a pitcher thing. But there's like extra things on there that don't need to be there. It's a can of beer. It's Japanese, so it doesn't need to make sense, but okay. I still want to buy oh, it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. No, okay, I okay. get it. It's it's a picture. I get that part. <laughs> but but it's but it's You're still like it's like there's about extra the trigger. I think the trigger like it's kinda like on like the Febreze bottles. Yeah. I think that's like you could like spray your beer at your enemy. <laughs> See, that's oh, that's what I kept saying. Oh, it looks you just go. Well, because you've got the needle thing in the front, which makes it look like a water gun. <laughs> Open your mouth, Spoo. <laughs> There you go. I want this thing. I want this thing because I want to know what all can you do with it. Well, I tell you what you can do with it. You can't press a duck with it. No, oh, well. But can't. there's an item you can. <laughs> oh man, uh, uh, it's a uh, duck presser. Um, you can press the juices out of a duck. That yeah. Is that live yeah. or a dead duck? Oh my Probably god. Probably either. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure on camera. 
But last and certainly not least, you can get a mold of adult film star Brie Olson's face. Get it in time for Mother's Day. Oh. Because <laughs> that's not creepy at all. <laughs> the link underneath it is get it in time for Mother's Day. Mom, I got you a present. Just what I Brie Olson, just what I always wanted. Currently unavailable. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's out of stock. That but you can get... actually bought it. Except the, the, the actual t tag on, on Amazon is Cyber Skin Head. And, um, yeah, and, and of course, uh, this is an adult toy. Which uh, you can get God. adult toys on Amazon. <laughs> but that one in particular is just plain creepy. So, yeah, there you go. There's 26 things you can get on Amazon. Some of them I really Day. wish I didn't. Christmas know. is coming. Yeah. Mother's Day. Mother's Day Mother's is coming Day's up. Right around the corner. Hello. If you got Prime membership, you'll get it on Sunday for your mom. Yeah. Well, um, your mom's a lesbian, I guess. Check us out across all of our social media platforms. Find some other weird stuff and got, put it down in the comments. Got awkward. Um, yeah. Facebook and Instagram and the Twitter. And, Go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe so you can see more weird crap like this. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you're over on the Facebook just right there. Whoa, whoa, watch it um, check out and uh, buy yourself one of our show t-shirts. Yeah. Uh, short sleeves are 20, uh, long sleeves are 22, and those fabulous hoodies, which you don't need right now because it's like 90 it degrees cool outside. It's cool at night in the hey, summertime? Just out in the woods? It's hot. I'm going to wear something that makes me look good. That's why I wear black jeans all the time. There you go. There you go. There's well, a you, 25. You go camping, whatever, and it gets cool at night. No, it's you know, true. Yeah, you, you can always just, throw just a, a, a light on. hoodie. Also, if you, you don't want to turn down, uh, turn up your AC. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Snuggle up in here. Um, so uh, we're going to continue to scour the internet for weird things that we didn't know we wanted. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, there, there, I saw a couple things on that page that, you know it would be really nice for my I birthday. already ordered you the face. Don't worry about it. We'll see you guys tomorrow for our favorite day of the week. Hey, this is L.D. McMullen from the Ghost Bus of the Ozarks, and here's your rushing clip of the day. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. We hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, and if you liked what you see, go ahead and click on our faces to go ahead and subscribe to get all of our Monday through Friday stuff. Indeed, and here's a couple of links down below that you can follow to watch more shows like it. Tons of great content right here at Scallywag Productions. We'll see you tomorrow.